Um, I'm Sifu Michael Fuchs. Today I'm going to share with you part of something that is called Reiki Self-Healing Mudra or Reiki Self-Healing Routine. Uh, this is a Reiki healing method for yourself which I learned from a very special person. His name is Dr. Meng Ji. Uh, Dr. G, G-Y-I, is one of the pioneers, one of the founders of Asian martial and healing arts in the Western world in the United States. He came from Burma to our country here in the USA shortly after World War II. And uh, he had been trained since he was, really since he was born, uh, by his father and many other teachers in a huge variety of Asian martial arts and healing arts, including arts like Reiki, very similar. And being a most unusual guy, uh, along the way, he studied so many things beyond, again, what he was trained with since he was a child. And this includes, of course, Japanese Reiki healing methods and many things related to that. Uh, he's the founder of something called the American Bando Association, B-A-N-D-O, Bando. Now, Bando is well known as a martial art, fairly well known, but there's Bando healing arts, Bando yoga, Min Zin, which is like Bando Qigong, all sorts of different things. Again, he's a most unusual person. Uh, he was a Gurkha fighter in World War II. He was uh, the Dalai Lama's chief security consultant in North America for decades, in charge of his not only personal security, but the whole visit and meeting him at the airport and securing the hotel and the whole thing, and many, many other things he's done. I don't want to get into it, but anyway, that's the source of this routine I'm sharing with you. Um, in English, he called it Reiki Self-Healing Mudra. Um, it's a healing routine for yourself. Now, unlike most Reiki healing methods, the um, generally, for self-healing or for someone else, your hands are used in either a preset routine. I call that Reiki by numbers, like painting by numbers, like Start with one, go to two, go to three, go to four. Okay, so on yourself, you might start with one and then go to two and three and four, whatever it might be. Um, so you have those. I call it Reiki by numbers, like painting by numbers. And then there's what I call freestyle Reiki, which is you give yourself Reiki healing as you feel you need it. So maybe I have a little arthritis in my knee and it's feeling sore. I put my hands there, give myself some Reiki to help relieve the soreness. If I have a headache, it might be like this. And if I'm feeling stress, maybe this helps me relieve the stress, or like this. So that's give yourself Reiki as you feel you need it, or as circumstances and feelings dictate. Freestyle Reiki. So this is a routine, Reiki by numbers, but it's a little different in that the, each position is like a yoga or qigong healing posture. Now, in this little routine here that Dr. G shared with me, um, I can't get into all this. Contact me on Facebook. Uh, my name again, Sifu Michael Fuchs, F-U-C-H-S. I'm happy to talk to you there. There's many pictures. But I had a connection through my teacher and his teacher and met him and hosted him at my school for years. And he was very gracious and kind to share elements of his knowledge with us related to healing arts, as well as also some martial arts, but quite a bit related to Reiki. And um, so this was a routine he shared with us amongst, you know, quite a few others. It's, and again, it's like self-healing yoga postures, but using Reiki healing energy, or like Qigong postures as well. Burma sits in between India, China, and Tibet. Down here is Thailand, and there's the Burmese Passage, from Europe, Rome, through Burma into China, and ancient one of the ancient, like the old Silk Road, one of the ways from east to west that could be traveled fairly easily. Long trip, no airplanes like now. So Burma is a mixing ground of all of these great traditions: India, Tibet, China, east and west, and um, it's most interesting. Again, right now I can't get into all that, but um, it is a most fascinating thing. And uh, he's quite an extraordinary guy. Um, so, again, there's many pictures on Facebook. Here's a picture of him from, um, this is 2006, I believe, 
receiving ordination as a monk in, in one of the Burmese traditions. This is him receiving a award at the Department of Homeland Security. Dr. G is really like one of the founders of U.S. Special Forces, and he's been a, uh, an operative and a trainer of Special Forces for decades. So here he is receiving some thanks at the Department of Homeland Security from about the same time, <coughs> excuse me, about 10 years ago. Okay, so we're going to get going on this healing method. I'm just going to reset the music here, and we're going to come right back, and we'll show that to you. Okay, so, now, this method has 12 positions. I'm going to show you four of them. So, we start, let me just show them to you first. I'll walk through them. This is number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Okay, now, again, excuse me. All right, better. So, Reiki self-healing mudra. Now, this is for Reiki practitioners, people who have received Reiki attunement and training live in person from a proper lineage and qualified instructor of Reiki. People who learn from video, from books, from a website, this is not a proper way to learn. You need to see a teacher who's in a lineage from the founder, O Sensei Mikao Usui, all right? Um, live and in person. Anyone who has done that, this is a healing method you can use. Other people, you can try it too. It's going to just be like a simple yoga routine for yourself or, uh, or Qigong. So this is number one. Now, your, you, your mind and your breath follow each position. Very simple. Just place your awareness in your hands. Breathe to and from your hands naturally. Relax. And you're going to hold the position from two to five minutes. It could be longer. There's 12 positions. Each position, two to five minutes. Five minutes each is going to be an hour. I used to practice this for an hour a day for about three years straight. Uh, I was very busy at the time. And uh, this was, I would do this in between my daily and evening routine as like a, kind of like a power nap. Okay, so this is number one. Now, number two, this is called the lotus palm. Lotus palm. Again, your thumbs are touching your, your uh, collarbone. The joined wrist and palms face upwards to your uh, throat and face. And you just hold this. Breathe to and from your hands. And let your mind and feeling and awareness be in your hands. Though we're not controlling anything. The way Reiki works is we let go and we just let it flow. But be aware. Be in the moment. As best you can. The mind wanders, you just bring it back to what you're doing. Now number three, you slowly flow up to cup your ears. So my hands are in this shape. Elbows forward. They don't have to be totally straight forward, but not outward. Facing forward, cupping your ears. Again, you relax. The mind and breath in the hands now over the ears. And you'll hold this two to five minutes. I'm abbreviating it for the sake of this little video. Now, number four, your hands open and the fingers and hands are like this and you're touching the base of the brain. So at the bottom of the skull before you hit the neck, where the neck comes into the skull, right there, that's where your middle finger tips touch and your elbows are outward. So you can see these are postures. Each one of these is a posture. It's different than just placing your hand on yourself, which is also good. So one, two, three, 
four. Relax and breathe. Let your mind and your breath follow your hands. Now, there's 12 of these positions. I'm not going to get into all of them here in the video. If you're interested and you're a Reiki person, contact me, okay, on Facebook. Again, Michael Fuchs, F-U-C-H-S. There's email there, or you can just contact me right on it. So from here to finish, we'll slowly let the hands flow down. And here. Again, there's 12 positions. From the fourth one that continues on, you hold each one for several minutes. So this is Reiki self-healing mudra or self-healing routine. A special one that I learned from uh, the well-known, famous, and uh, really quite a guy, Dr. Mongji. So great thanks to him. Okay, and enjoy. Thank you so much.